All right, everybody. We're underway. We have Raikou Rider and Zarnex42, both 2 and one players. It'll just be me here commentating. Let me uh, go ahead and put that up there. up a little bit better here while they find stuff. Two towns right next to each other. Wow. Zarnax is in Saria already. Raikou Riders in the same place. Zarnax in the lead! Can he hang on to it? He's cutting some of that off. That's fine. Make sure it wasn't on my end. Remember the magic word, so they get the spell spell. Both of them. Both make happy little bots and in the town, so. Alright. Now, what was the other town? Ruto. Zarnax looks like he's already passing into Heart Cave. Life 2. One of the cool things about taking Life 2 right away is you don't have to skip that dumb level anymore. If you keep skipping it, you have to keep skipping it over and over and over. I asked, uh, I asked Prez when I was running any percent for Zelda 2, why, why exactly get Life 2? And he says, oh, so you don't have to keep skipping it. <laughs> That's a very speedrun answer. The glove. Is it really? Thanks for helping me out, guys. Now Trophy K for Zarnax, and it looks like Raikou Riders were already to get a spell. <laughs> Containers are also a nice find. The fairy spell in Raru for Raikou Rider. The choke finger. <laughs> and now another town? Raikou Rider locates uh, Mido. Can he cast fairy? He's gonna write that down. Fairy is 75, spells 114. He's gonna think about that magic too, probably. He's actually taking a desert encounter on purpose, it looks like, but perhaps not what he's looking for. But this is. Yes. We've got Palace 3 or 6 here with the very valuable blue iron up or red iron up or we get magic 2 when we get down stab. Sardax is in the north. He passed through a cave? Wow. Reload it. I guess Magic Dude didn't do a trick. Zarnax got wood. Did he get a raft? Raikou Riders is going with the grind. He's going to speed up his grind a little bit by taking attack 2 and increasing his attack power by 50%. So he'll cut his hits on that Iron Knuckle by a half or a half minus 1. Take down uh, Raikou's volume. Is Raikou's volume just a tad high, you think? Good wood. Now Zarnax in the neighborhood to pick up that fairy spell. And he's already, they're both 2-2-2. Two, two, two. I 
don't remember you saying that, Vonky, but I believe that you did. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, third is, but he wanted to get life three. Saw the lineup. Could be a crazy week. Either Air or I or I will be ending up in the uh, race, the, the playoff race to get into the bracket. Uh, Downy Downstabbing has the downstab ability. Big surprise. Zarnax is gonna go into this palace. And with that magic container he found, we'll see, yeah, that magic container really paid off because Zarnex didn't have to grind magic 3 to be able to cast a spell. He just go ahead and do it. He's gonna go for it. He's already, he's ready for palaces. Zarnax is trying to get killed, but he actually has to go to the left to find that wizard now. For whatever reason. He's in Palace 3, which makes it uh, a good place to be. Now, Raikou is not such a good place to be. I don't believe he has the glove yet. The tracker is to be believed, which I, I wouldn't believe it personally. The guy in charge has no idea what he's doing. Zarnax is in zombie mode right now. He doesn't have a, a red sliver of life. I really need to pay attention to Raikou's. Yeah, he doesn't. He does not have it. So... We both have a candle. Yeah. Darnax is in a much better shape for getting this place completely knocked out. Being as close as it is to start, it's not a priority to get it done. Getting the item out of it might be very valuable. Could be the raft. Could be something else useful. So there's a chance that Raikou doesn't get held up as badly if he can get the item at least. Now, did Raikou not manage to pick up the fairy spell? Or not the fairy spell, the downstab? It certainly seemed like he did. But he wasn't bouncing over the blue arrow. He's going to bail on three, clearly, it looks like. Stab, he just didn't. He just didn't use it in that situation. All right. Um, yeah, whatever. Omg. miss anything just there at that cave, uh, please let me know. I was trying to get the town, the timer straightened out. So the Grand Palace is in the northwest corner of Hyrule. Blame Rep. Oh, weird. You know. Use Blame. 
blame rep strats against Darkwing? Is that what we're getting at here? Medicine for Raikou, thank you. Zarnax, did he have a game over? Looks like, wow. Zarnax gonna bail on? Zarnax hadn't picked up Downstab yet. Maybe I was looking, getting the players confused back and forth. Yeah, there were a bunch of... Ooh, a nice 200 bag in the woods for Raikou Rider. I have to wonder uh, if he can locate the magic container that Zarnax did before he gets to that next level up. Especially before he gets to the next magic level up, if he's gonna. That signaled him to, to keep magic 3 for a while. Zarnax is going back in with Downstab now. That's a much better choice to be in there with Downstab. I made a big boo-boo here, and their streams are on the opposite side of my monitor set up from the chat. <laughs> so if I miss something, it's probably because I'm checking looking at chat. Is Larry known for pee bags now? I think so. Because he in his last race he got uh, like every pee bag in the game, I think. He even found a pee bag that only had five experience in it. We didn't even know that was in the game. In, what kind of cave was medicine in, by the way? Is that a one up? Alright, so next gets to this room and now he can he can dig these keys out now that he has downstaff. So here's Raikou in the trophy cave. I believe this is where the magic container is. Oh, he's so close to the edge. Medicine is a magic container cave, okay. Thank you. the globe, I, if I remember correctly, and Tractor says so. Zarnax is really intent about fighting these blue uh, armored knights, uh, armored skeleton guys. Filler up forest. More caves to check. I think he'll be running into a Death Mountain cave at some point. Uh, this is the Pearl Proper or Fairy Cave. I believe this should be the. Actually, I don't know. Potential. I think. Yeah. Raikou sees a potential grind here in this encounter. 
Inside the hitbox down standing it. Wow. Zardex locates Ribbon X room. Try to get his toe on the correct pixel there so he can get a nice down stab fun time in the left. Very safe strat. Pulls it in by holding the left until the iron knuckle gets underneath him. And there he goes. Easy every time. Except when it's not. Looks like Raikou wants to go ahead and take this cave. No, yes. Where exactly did he just pop out? Well, Palace 4. We haven't seen some locations yet. I don't think we've seen a grass tile. We haven't seen... Uh, we haven't seen the pee bag cave. I don't know if we've seen a rock block cave. So these guys have... Both of them have uh, kind of left those on the table for a little bit in order to go into palaces. Looks like Zarnax is satisfied with P3 being done. And here we find Karak, but Reflect is not had. Now he has the question to himself, do I want to stay in here for an item? I think he could stay in here for a continue at least. Zarnax picks up the medicine. Neither one's cashed that in yet, so we do not know what that will give us. No, I don't think I don't know if we've seen the raft spot. Oh, but he did find the item room. Wow, this is a very quick four. And he's gonna get right by this, no problem. The raft is inside of four, so Raikou Rider can go east if he wants. And he's got something to think about there. I'll just mark on his tracker. Yes, yeah, now Zarnax found GP, so he, he knows his choices are winding down. Okay. And we'll see here in a moment. What spell is inside of the town of Mido? And whether Raikou Rider wants to... How far he wants to go into- Oh, wow, look at that! First cave, hammer cave. So even though he has the raft and he has the glove, he wants to keep looking for items, which isn't a bad move. This hammer cave could have another potential item. We can see a boot, or maybe we just see a heart container. At this point in the game, it's hard to be disappointed with any item. Oh, I didn't look at what spell. Mido equals fire. Thank you. He's gonna hammer this out quickly. Oh my goodness. Raikou Rider not familiar with this uh, particular enemy placement. Might have a tough time. Or he might ferry through. Nope. He's gonna get through. Is Arnax testing it? Wow, look at this enemy placement. I've never seen this before. Orange Dyra. Orange Dyra, Red Dyra, Hammer. What game is this? Who programmed this? Confirmed Reflect on fire? Amazing.
So it does look like Raikou wants to poke his head around Death Mountain now that he has a hammer. He wants to locate that Spectacle Rock and try to buff himself up more. I think that he's probably seen enough of this tournament to know that um, either everything is required or uh, the, or he has everything he needs already, which he doesn't. He doesn't yet. He's gonna walk out, I think, because he got here by going through a cave. I think. He, he came here through Parappa Fairy Cave, so. It was an easy enough walk, exit. He doesn't wanna get lost. Yeah, it's a pretty good chance that the, that the rock is not important. Zardak's already good. So he's. <laughs> I'm gonna take that Fire Reflex spell and take it right to P4 and, and beat Karak. He's already 4-4-4 four, 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 and he has the experience to take 4-4-5 four, four, right here. That cave's wide open, so I don't think that the hammer is blocking anything except for a spectacle rock. Zarnax does look like he wants to go back in for the item. Pea bag in the pea bag cave, and it's exactly the original amount 200. I am revolted. death here. Raft for Zarnax, yes, of course. So even though Zarnax is up two gems, it's not too bad. Oh, the magical key, wow. Well, that should make things pretty simple for him. He can use his magic however he sees fit. Not having to worry about keys, key doors in front of him and behind him. Zarnax, oh, locates a grass tile, a long lost grass tile. 23 minutes into the game, grass tile is found with the boots on it. Which, really, that's just. What a seed. I wish I were playing the seed. And look, he can just walk. He can take that and just walk straight by the. There's a raft spot, but he's gonna keep looking. Raikou Rider hasn't hasn't uh, redeemed his water life yet for the fire reflex spell. And to be frank, um, Palace Ford isn't necessarily a priority for him either. The gem doesn't uh, block any particular progress right now. He hasn't finished Palace Three yet, so at some point he goes back for two easy, what are easy levels to finish, especially when you're not looking for anything. He knows the location of Karak. Palace 3 small. Zarnax in the east, locating Thundertown. Boots for Raikou Rider. And refines the reflect the redundant reflect spell. Drop frames, folks. And we're... IQ bouncing over some Lazalfos in that encounter, looking for some pea bags, but finds a little digger.
Oof. Right into the very annoying invisible enemies. Zarnax is located a river devil. Oh, and also Maze Island. So, you know, Raikou didn't, uh, didn't have any reason to suspect that it was a priority to get back to Mido, and now he may never go back. If he finds the Thunder Spell, it, he might not have any reason to go back and get that Fire Spell. It, it's really not a, a convenience to have. If you can get to Karak as easily as that, saving the little magic doesn't mean anything. Is that P1 for Zarnax and Maze Island? Raikou wants to force an encounter so he can walk to this cave easily. Zarnax, meanwhile, is checking all over Maze Island trying to find some items. The boots really help in his exploration here. He can just pass over the river and gives him a lot of ways to get around the side scroll encounters. has the boots, and we have every advantage here as well. Yeah, <laughs> they're both gonna be, they're gonna be one behind the other. Zardak's performing a fairy foot glitch to get around this encounter and back into this very long maze-like hallway. Locating the red jar, which at least is gonna give him a magic refill, he can do another fairy foot. Man. And there's the other drop, see, they're one right behind the other. Raikou Rider instead decides to go right in. He has no reason to think that one's gonna item's gonna let him down. Magic Container, Heart Container, what could it do to him? And so Zarnax located another Magic Container. When did Zarnax get a previous Magic Container? Raikou's at five and Zarnax is at seven. Real Magic Container, right? Yeah. Which Kyle did Zarnax find the Oh no, what did and what did Raikou just find? Oh you can probably see that again. He got an MC in four? Oh. In four. Four had a uh a raptor. And three? Where I find the heart. Oh, we found the heart container, okay. Yes, that makes sense. P3 has the magic container, got it. Well, Zardax has gotta be happy with the magic that he has. And they're in the same room, there's a little bit of spooning action happening, guys. Uh, get the nearest emote out that you have. Both picking up the key, even though only one of them actually can make use of it. I don't believe Zarnax is, has the magic key. So yeah, right in this room, it made a difference for Raikou to stop a moment and, and fight the Iron Knuckle before opening the door. Once you open the door, it throws off the pace of the Iron Knuckle and he starts to attack. And it gives a... Uh, Every time you hit him, it, it slows down his AI pattern, so he does not, um, does not advance his whatever frame count before he starts attacking again. <laughs> Excellent emotes. I love it. Sorry, next pokes left, and I suppose that he saw the key room, and now he knows that the first left in the dungeon is the way, and now Raikou has found the, um, so he's found the key to end, which he doesn't need. So 
suppose this means an up A is in our future. Oh, he's he's thinking about this experience. He's a good 413 XP off the level, though. And this is not being very cooperative at all. Two hits. This could take five, six, seven, eight more hits. There's a 20% chance he gets the level up XP. Zarnax locates the correct path to Horsehead. Oh, bouncing! Good bounces! He managed to, to stay mounted on Horsehead. To get a few extra downstab hits in his very weird hitbox location. For that. I was looking for the glove specifically, not the man wearing it. Well, this is interesting, since Zarnax has to go back in for the item. If he can manage to stay alive on this horse head fight, they'll probably be about even leaving here. Just a couple more hits. Alright, Raikou closes out the horse head fight. Oh, he did pick it up. Okay, I was say, did he just leave that heart container right on the ground? Come on. Zarnax is going back to the Western Continent. Raikou's digging up another 83 XP. He can't, he can't take anymore. His levels are low. They're not great. He knows this. Who's that? Oh. Sorry, we're experiencing more lag. Good grief. Please, OBS. Sorry about this. of the screen is about to get worse. And now, yeah, looking at that, he's, he had to look at that a moment and think, oh god, I'm, I'm gonna still only get 170 XP out of this gem, but the really the important thing here is to get that attack, and that, that attack level so that the experience for that next bonus will go up much higher. It'll be, it'll be a, about a 1200 bonus next time for him. he wants to actually get the attack level and then put the gem in. That is another choice. Oh, okay. He, Alright, he's in there. Zarnax found the Darunia Pass. A little fairy foot action here to get into the northwest, I believe, of the eastern continent. This little river to block. It's gonna do nothing to these guys. They've got an easy route to find in the grass tile. And a nice safe path, though, to walk on. Now, it looks like Raikou Rider is going to continue looking for items here. Spend a little bit of time here to locate him. Once he locates one, he's going to locate the other quickly. Zarnax is in the pincer move. Pincer attack from the Lizalfos. He gets out safely. And two more towns right next to each other. He's located the Buru and uh, either Daruni or New Kasuto. If he goes into New Kasuto, he's going to be completely ready to get both items out of it. But what they're really looking for now is the Thunder Spell. That is. It has to be number one priority for both players. That'll be the main interest here for Zarnax, and the Buru is a great find. 
Another free spell. I believe I did the, uh, the XP, the XP keep trick in the last race I, I ran. Um, it's not hard, you just... Once the XP starts rolling from the gem, you just save the game. You just stop and save the game. That's all you do. And when you load back up, it starts giving you XP. I don't know what, uh, how much it gives, what the, the logic behind it is, but I do know that if you're gonna up A anyway, then up A and save while the, the XP's rolling if you want to have any of it. Jump spell for Zarnax. Finds another palace. Will it be two? Will it be five? Will it be six? He wants to check this cave very quickly, and it's a short passage. One of a few caves probably has a blue Zalfos in it, based on not seeing an enemy placement. Well, the Raikou's got to deal with a whole bunch of encounters here. He's actually going to ferry across this one the normal way instead of trying to do a ferry foot. Zarnak certainly appears to be in Palace 5. Raikou comes at these from uh, the other side, from Zarnax. Very useful match container. Nice refill. I think that, based on the way Raikou's played so far, I think he'd probably be more comfortable if he had the life spell for sure. Especially when he, he's gonna find his magic containers like this. Zarnax. Yeah, camera gets good yeah, camera, and then he gets stabbed a couple times by Stalfos. And has to redo the room. A red jar. I'm not touching that thing. Things even in here? Please get out of here. I'm leaving. I'm tired of this place. Dead end for Zarnax, who does. Uh, I can't say that he's necessarily trying to actively find the item room, but the way Palace 5 works, it just keeps switching you back. You know, you don't know what you're gonna find. You're trying to go right, and then it just it turns you around because there's so many turnaround elevators. So he's in here, and it looks like he wants to level up before he up and A's out of this spot. Oh! Doom Rattlers for uh, Drippers. We didn't have a lot of choice for dealing with this. Now we've got Raikou and Darunia right next to Naburu. Thinking about it, he says, nah, I'll come back later if I, if I even come back here, that's when I'll get upstabbed. Maybe. Maybe get upstabbed. There's our next goes, you can get magic five now. I'm gonna jump fine for Raikou here in a moment. So right now, the lack of a magical key has not hurt Zarnax at all, and I don't expect that it will. He has magic five, he has seven magic containers. This is really one way to mitigate the advantage of your opponent having a magical key. It's just to, to get a bunch of magic containers. By, that's chance, but to uh, get these magic levels. So the fairy isn't a hindrance. Not to mention, so far the dungeons have been very easy. Um, Palace 3 early on had that room where you could dig out two keys from the floor. Palace 4 had... Um, you could find both important rooms and spending only the key to get the item. And Palace 1 is Palace 1. Alright, boss Gloom of Fine for Zarnax going jumpless, going aggressive. Deaths on both screens. So 
suppose Xarnax is he's been aggressive on his first two tries. I don't know if that will change much here. He's got a short trip to Guma. I don't know if this is him signaling that he's gonna leave and come back, or if he's gonna hammer this out by because Guma's so close to start. Meanwhile, Raikou's hidden some overworld. I don't think Raikou is probably gonna be too full to find P5. Neither of them has the shield spell. Neither of them has much uh, life. Even, this, even though, you know, their life levels are different, both of them can only take one hit from Guma without dying. Jump is a safety strat for Guma. What what you could do with jump on Guma, if you're only doing like a one hit in and out strat, if you walk up to him and then crouch stab him, because you using the crouch stab only because it's faster to deal its hit and push him back a little bit. The jump spell when you jump away, you get, you know, the faster acceleration moving upward to get away from his mace. That's about all that you really use jump for, or just general like maneuverability safety, so you have that increased acceleration. Right back in with the jackhammer strats. He, I learned these from him. He, he visited here on his way around the country, uh, probably to maybe GDQ, and I don't remember for sure which time it was. I think it was GDQ, and brought his power pack. And he has a safe state of a, attack one Zuma. Oh, well, there he goes. Is he? Look at that. That's some really good jackhammering. But he has a lot of hits to go. It's a very dangerous strat, and he's very fragile. Raikou finds the same room as Zarnax and is turning around. I also find that you can, uh, you know, the cheese strat for Guma is to get him off the screen to the right and then let him come out a little bit so that his hitbox is available. And uh, but his hurt box is some people say that his damage from the mace, the mace doesn't show up until he gets a little further out to the left. So you can actually jackhammer him in the cheese spot. He doesn't stay there for a very long time, but you can. You can sometimes get a, a handful of hits there completely free. Zarnax, he thinks we, uh, he, he bails, and then he turns around. I think he's going to take this short cave, which is a good move. It's a Scorpion Max. Oh, don't tell me this is the VOD 2 pass. Come on. Better if he blues Alphos here. Okay. We don't have to call Fred or Doug. We're fine. Throw links at him until he gets tired of killing him. <laughs> Zarnax finds a Nabooru pass. Looks like. Now, what's Raikou's strategy gonna be for this? Before this race, Raikou did a practice seed. Now he's gonna do a safe strat here. It's still an endurance trial to attack four, especially with an overflowed Guma HP. At this, he probably takes um, 16 hits with attack four normally, so he could take up to 24 hits. XP bag for Zarnax, but his first level is 1,500 away from where he's at. 1,600, really. Is it safe here? Raikou gets a real close call, and he's getting pushed in here. His strategy so far, it doesn't seem like he's super comfortable being pushed in this far, but he's just got to hang on a couple, one more hit, I think, and he'll have it. Ooh, one more. One more still. Ooh. Ooh. Good fight for Ryuk. Safe and steady, and he gets it done. And he wants to turn around. Again, he did not get great experience off of that fight. So, yeah, he's got that. What he could do here is, uh, yeah, pop over to the left, but it looks like that's a Guma, or a, not a Guma, a Moa room. Uh, one of those rooms actually has an enemy to the left that's with experience. Every two levels, double your attack. That's right. 
Every two levels doubles your attack. Um, with the with one exception. Um, level three is four attack, and level five is nine. Level attack three is four damage, attack five is nine damage. Peabag for Zardax. What is he? Is he in the old lady's house? Yep. Another whammy for Zarnak, even though he's actually he picked up three 500 bags from look of it. So he's close to attack five. Magic for Zarnax. So Zarnax locates the Thunder Spell, which pretty much he's in. He's in full dig shake. Sorry about that, Doug. I should say, once it gets going, but the first level is two damage and the second level is three. And from there on out, there's the one exception to it doubling every two levels. Raikou Rider is turning in his XP. He's going to get attack five here. Good for him. Now he'll be able to continue this snowball. Hopefully he'll get better luck having uh, XP when he gets to the further gems. I think the Palace 3 will not disappoint him in that way. Zarnax has located another palace. This ought to be Palace uh, 2 or 6? General helpful hint to try to track here. So, pass two for Zarnax and that didn't do this for sure. No reason to leave this. Zarnax really. He is full dig shake. All he needs to do is complete his palaces and, uh, and do whatever he needs to survive the seed, and which I'm not sure what that's going to be for him besides leveling up at this point. Without putting any more effort in here, he's gonna get attack five before he gets to Helmet Head. And once he does that, he'll be able to finish the seed six, six, seven, most likely. Alright, the rider entering a uh, payback cave. Looking for an item, see what it is. For him, I think the best case scenario would be a heart container, to be honest. That would be a great find right now. Magic container. So we've located all eight magic containers. Raikou's missing one from Palace 3. Zarnax is missing the one that Raikou just picked up. And am I... Yeah, so Zarnax has six spells, but neither of them... <laughs> He's missing shield and life. Cross, so I don't know what enemy killed him, but there would appear to be a missing enemy, which would imply a blue moa is flying around in here. There should be four flying enemies in that cave. Now, is Zarnax heading left because he's looking for items, or is he heading left because he's exhausted some some options? What is Fire Parry? Fire is Parry with Reflect. Which Zarnax uh, discovered and used to complete Palace 4 early to his advantage, and Raikou Rider has not even been back to Mido to get the Fire Spell, but found Reflect shortly after. 
isn't really at much of a disadvantage because of that lack of information. Because he knows the location of Karok in Palace 4, and it's very easy to get to. He also has Palace 3 to complete. So now he's back at the beginning. He has an opportunity now to go to Palace 3 and 4 and finish them. He has the equipment to do these things. But also, the Grand Palace is uh, in the northeast corner. One way or another, he's coming back to this, to the western continent. Star Magician. Sorry about that. Zarnax must have found a dead end. Looks like Raikou Rider is gonna head toward... Where is he heading? Might be um, using. He might just be flying through Sari to get to his location. That's that'd be a great move. No, no dodging of encounters. Just walking. Just take a break. Collect your thoughts. Think about what you're gonna do. For him, he just likes the thunder spell. Oh, he has Bagu. He knows Bagu. Wow. This guy knows Bagu. Please, sit at this table, up in the front. <laughs> VIP. So does Zarnax... Does he have some piece of information we're not particularly thinking of? We haven't seen Palace 6 yet. We know that it's in the Valley of Death. And I don't... I don't recall having seen the Valley of Death. At all. So, I'm not sure if he's still looking for items because of that, or if he just wants a little bit more survivability. Cross and 2. Yes, sir. Cross for Zarnax and 2. Raikou's on the easy path to Karak right now. Looks like he wants to get some experience out of... Well, that doesn't get him any closer to his level. That well, doesn't get him any, a better chance of getting that level off of Karak, is what I mean. It's a pitiful amount of experience to get from a Doom Knocker. Now uh, Zarnak continues going through two. Ooh, 700. Yeah, I didn't notice that last time. So he's in great shape. He's gonna get 6, 3, 4 out of this. Head over to Palace 3, and we'll see what he does with that. Zarnax takes out. Helmet has head with ease. Poised to get, I think, I don't know, magic, magic 6 or life 7 here. Turtle headed it. Nice, I missed it. Kill Turtle Head. I had a kill earlier. Or last night, whenever, sometime, with um He actually still had a blue helmet on when I killed him. 
Alright, so Zarnax has the entrance to the Valley of Death and the way to Pal 6 bounds. That's no problem. Magic 6. His fairy spell is costing probably, what, is it 24 it looked like? Fairy, he can fairy feed a few times. More tick and he's through. He wants a defensive spell. He, hard to argue with that. Defensive spell's great. Raikou Rider's in the Valley of Death. He's got, uh, the Valley of Death 1 passage where it's full of blue moas. If he had used the spell spell there, it actually would have rained bots potentially on his head. Which would have been kind of funny. But not so funny for him if it actually managed to kill him. It looks like the blue Zalphos must be uh, stone skin. They're not vulnerable to the sword. And since they're not vulnerable to beams, that means that they're completely invulnerable ex by, to everything except for the thunder spell. They can't be turned into bots by the spell spell. Spell. Quick, quick find of a. A Raybo uh, mini boss room here for Zardex. The boot tile. Okay, the heart container. That's that's a great find, really. All Raikou needs to do right now is, is locate new Kasudo, and I think that he will be ready ready to take on the rest of these palaces without with uh, unencumbered thoughts. Not having to worry about do I have to dig an item out of this place. guys are two and ones. Apparently Zarnax has a trophy. Right on. Thank you. Alright. Zarnax is going up! Oh, he falls through the hitbox and takes a little dip in the lava. Lava baths are the, the hot new treatment in Hyrule ever since the fall of Ganon. People just have so much free time on their hands. Oof! Goes for a very aggressive move and is, is actually hit and boosted leftward into the lava. Zarnax has two play stands. Thank you. Thank you. Looks like it's time for safe strats for Zarnax. No more game overs on bosses. Seems to be uh, the pact here. Nice little downstab bounce. And Raikou Rider, he's locating the Thunder Spell, so he is in full dig shake. Though he's in the same position as Zarnax, doesn't have a spell to reduce damage taken or refill damage taken. That may, that may worry him as he gets to Thunderbird, but he's already by Guma, so he didn't have that to concern himself with. He does want to get this item, though. A kid. Well, lucky for him, he, he knows he won't need to turn that in. Although, did Zarnax not pick up the kid, or did he just not go back to Darunia? The Daruni is going to have a defensive spell. One of them. Alright, gem six in for Zarnax. He only has now to return to fight Boss Guma. 
put the smack down. Raikou, in the meantime, he needs to, to get his get his avatar to these palaces and get these gems placed as quickly as possible. Zarnax did skip the spell came, alright. Well, this time Zarnax is back in Palace 5, a little more firepower than the last time, at least. And a little more defense. Uh, Life 7? I'm not sure. He certainly hopes that, it, or may know that it's gonna give him an extra hit on Guma. I don't believe that he'll take three bars of damage from a hit at level at life seven, so he should be okay. Raikou Rider locates Psych Room. Always disappoint disappointing room to find. Zarnax and Guma now, he's, he's going to take a quick one. I think he wants to have a nice good, good go with this guy, full health. It looks like he can take exactly two hits and then the third hit will kill him. There he is, he's in the corner. Got a lot of stabs down, but uh, because Guma was on the left side of him and not the right, he was bounced out to the left and, and that's bad for, it's bad for Link. It hurts the link. It's always great to watch, though. I love this. He's very good at this uh, jackhammer technique. I'm an amateur at this compared to him. Oh, he's pushed him off to the left side. He's got to wait for him to pull him out. Alright, one for one. There we go. Will he? We'll find out. He will get 667 here uh, if uh, the levels haven't gotten too badly rearranged by the randomizer. He's on foot. He's on foot. Where's he going? Where does Zarnex want to go? Riders. Oh, if I recall correctly, now Raikou Rider's on the other bad path. Maybe not. Interesting block clear there. Oh, I've never seen anybody do it that way. It's, he gets all six blocks cleared out. Cut four fairly efficient swings. Yeah, like that. It's practically a double hit on the blocks. may have found himself going the wrong way in the dead end for Raikou Rider. Alright, time to find another way to go. Alright. Zarnax in two with the Grand Palace. Around, around an hour and five minutes. Nice 
this theater room here full of small enemies and boggle boggos. Uh-oh, the Eon drop. The question here is how's our next feeling about his position in the race? And how early the drop is. I think he, he's going to go ahead and take this drop because he's got a, a room ahead that has two more choices. And he says, you know what, I'll take this as information. I think that's might be what he's thinking right now. Well, he has plenty of reason to think that maybe he's not necessarily in great shape. He didn't have the, the smoothest early game. Neither of them did, but... Zarnax going to Palace 3 without downstabbing definitely is something he has to, to check off as something that has, has cost him time in this race, so who knows where, where he thinks he is for sure. But getting that information is definitely valuable. And he's on a, a long... It's going to be kind of a long path here. Linear rooms. Scott vehicular room here. He wants to break that fifth row block to get up a uh, height advantage on this guy, but he's gonna give that up and go forward. He didn't have a life spell, he didn't have a shield spell. So he needs to keep this guy backed off. If he bodies him, that's gonna be two more hearts of damage. Yeah, he's not gonna be happy with that. He's gonna kill the man. Oof, he gets sat on. Helmet head room for a Raikou Rider. Oh yeah, that is a very low spawn. And he gets the blue helmet kill. Oh, just 40 XP short. He's got to go back for this. He has three gems to place. But he can't feel too super... He, I, did he realize now that he can get this magic? Oh, here he goes. That's what he wants. Oh! He's killed before the experience ticks up, so he's got to retry this. Maybe this time he'll bust a thunder spell out on these two. Now, Zarnax finds this other room. This is the room where uh, sometimes that. To the, where that big skull bubble is gets replaced with a big bot. It goes flying up through the bricks, and over here there's a magic container hidden up there, or a bird knight. A very annoying thing to have happen. Killing the big bot there despawns the enemies and it despawns the magic jar or the bird knight that will be inside the blocks. Look at that! It's Thunderbird! But he doesn't have magic, so now he can go and try to get this. <laughs> he doesn't have to get this red jar now. He can actually go straight to Thunderbird with this amount of magic. Riker Rider gets his XP and now is it's gonna take attack seven. Head to Palace Six. so far. He has one hit to go, and he'd probably die in a hit, but he gets the kill almost at the center of the room. Ooh, Riker Rider's dealing with the Valley Death Encounters. He's in the Palace 6. Zarnax has an ugly room. Oh, he's taken a... Yeah, I think he just wants to die so he can get to Jumper Fairy to get over this. Now that that Bird Knight's pulled down. He may also wait for the Bird Knight to jump before he moves. Yeah, he wants to pull it left. There he goes. And go up. Fend off the Bird Knight. Save himself a couple hearts of damage. That move may pay off quite a bit. And he's going to get pelted by fireballs you really can't see much before they get to him. Patiently approaching the, uh, the 
chicken before he gets around safely again and try to preserve his, his last life, I believe, without life spell, without shield magic. And he locates Dark Link. And he should have a pretty easy fight here with five bars of health. Nope. No Darunia. Zarnak's doing the crouch and stab strat, and he finishes off Dark Link. About a 110.52 on his timer. Uh, 111.11 on mine. My timer's wrong. So, Zarnax has a very fast seed here. for Zarnax. Let's see if he wants to come in here, but I have a horribly bad amount of space here to get uh, things moved around. I'll work on that a moment. Does he, does he know where his towel is? Yeah, that's a very important question. Nice clean barber for Raikou Rider. Just one gem to go, pals three, and this should be fast. Well, other players had already clinched their berth by going 3-0, so he is the sixth player to get his berth. What the heck? Oh dear god. Oh, I see what's happening. Sorry about that. I'm really bad, and uh, I've got very limited space here on my screen. So... Zarnax in the channel. Good game, Zarnax. Hey, Thanks. Let me turn you up because I'm sure that you can't possibly be loud enough for me, for everybody to hear you. One second. Let me adjust a lot of volumes. Are you still there? 
I'm here. Zarnax has deafened himself, it would look like. It's going to reload very quickly. Let's try that again. All right. I, I can now hear you if you're talking. the outdoor room just has to find its way here not too many rooms left more, more ways to go Zarnax to try to work out a little technical issue here. Rider has like set up uh, set Remanek up for a corner kill. Oh my gosh! Okay, it must have been like my ear, or something. Something block a uh, piece of hardware blocking it. Well, welcome. Good game. Thank you. I hope everybody can hear you. I've got things turned up as far as I can get them. So, uh, let's see here. What uh, did you think heading into the Grand Palace? Um, hope up is not required. Hope up is not required, of course, always. Um, were you concerned about uh, the lack of a shield or life spell at all? No, not really. Okay. Don't usually stick around to fight enough. Right. Usually. Yeah, I'm, yeah. If I've got life or shield, I rarely even take a death in GP, unless it's like a weird knockback or something. So, yeah. Especially with life, I wasn't wasn't worried at all. Yeah. So you had a pretty quick seed. Hour ten minutes is is way um, ahead of the usual pace. Well, the seed was a lot more generous than the usual seed. It was, it was a fairly generous seed. Um, I don't... You know, Palace 4 had the raft in it, which was important, but then again, it wasn't a difficult raft to get to. Right. I don't think I saw any of the three key dead ends in 4. No, neither did Raikou. Both of you, yeah. you know, locate Karok, turn around, head back down, locate the item room. Yeah. That was nuts. You had a, a bit of a bout with Guma. 
Yeah. I was a little bummed about that. It's always nice when you get a, get a flashy fight the first try. Yes. Yeah. But you didn't give up. You just, no. well, you came back with, with slightly better stats and yeah. continued to jack. I, I learned my lesson. I learned my lesson from the, my first race where I, it was a longer walk mm -hmm. and, and I did it more times and I was lucky to come out of that race with a win. Yeah. Yeah, so Raikou, he, his approach was to, he went in there and he had a, he, he picked away one hit at a time and, and he got it the first try, so he probably made up a little ground in Palace 5. But we were very entertained by the jackhammer strats. Good, good. I, I enjoy them. I do too. I, I can't, I can't follow you at all for that. <laughs> Well, Raikou now is, has, uh, he's beaten Rabinac, he has the six gems, he's heading to the, uh, the Grand Palace. He's had oh, okay. he a little did, bit uh, of a more traditional leveling path. He, he got up to like seven, three, four, and then started placing gems for big gains. Right. Um, I, don't, I wouldn't say what held it. Raikou up. He spent a bit of time. He, he didn't have the thunder spell as early as you did, and he didn't know. He didn't ever get fire to know that it was reflect, but that turned out well, not to be very important because right. reflect was easy enough to get. Right. Yeah, I got that right after I finished four, I think. Right. I made that. That actually made me worry that I might have to collect some more spell items. Mm -hmm. uh, which, like, I mean, that concern is why I was still popping into some caves and right and, and, and like searching Maze Island. Yeah, and it's what kept Raikou from getting to his palaces a little faster, even though he had he also had the magic key. Um, oh, where he, was that? The magic key was in the medicine cave, I think. Oh, okay. It looks like. No, no, no. Cave. It was in the West Peabag Cave I have it marked. Yeah. I don't know. Maybe I, I might have clicked that by accident, but it was in the West. I never found that one, either. Yeah. Yeah, I missed the Medicine Cave and the Peabag Cave. Right, but the, somehow that that easy enough glove find, the raft in the palace, um, it didn't, uh, not a lot was really required, but uh, the, the paranoia of needing that spell item... You say, right. yeah, for you, you want to keep checking items in case that happened, and, and Raikou spent more time doing that. Gotcha. Yeah. yeah the, the boots was a nice little bonus, too. Yeah, especially in that particular position that he just gave. Oh, right the boots? Yeah. 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 Right to the dock. Right. Yeah. It was beautiful. So, you have... Uh, You've clinched your birth into the bracket phase. The... Yeah, it's kind of crazy. How you feel about that? Pretty good? Yeah, I'm feeling uh, a little lucky. Well, you... You definitely... I don't... Luck may or may not have anything to do with it, uh, but you definitely played well. Thanks. I mean, I think there were, um, I mean, there were definitely a handful of, uh, of matchups that I could have gotten in a couple of my rounds where I would not have been, shouldn't have been favored. Mm -hmm. And I feel like I, yeah. I, yeah, you, I you feel like you got some easy, some, some like, some, some matchups that favored you a little more than what was in the, available for the field. Right. Yeah. Raikou went right down the Eon Drop without even looking right. Nice. Good for him. <laughs> it's going to pay off. Yeah, it is. <laughs> this. I just, I mean, I as soon as I saw it, I was like, it's so early, I'm going to take it. But I want to know what that branch goes to, what it looks like. Right. And, and that was what I had, uh, that was my expectation. I didn't. 
guess that you thought that you were behind and needed to take a gamble, but an early drop is definitely good information. Right. But these rooms, uh, these uh, these block rooms, the Scott Beakula room here, it's giving Raikou oh, about as much like trouble as you. Either. Yeah. Yep. Now, now that you picked up life or shield, so. Did he get us to have? He did not get up stab? I think he, he did not go back to Darunia. I don't recall him getting up stab. Like, I would say if there's one reason I like to have up stab, um, even if it's not going to be required, is for the waffle rooms. Yeah, I, it looked like you were in a spot there. You wanted to break a block over your head in order to uh -huh. be able to climb up, and you couldn't manage to do it, so you just said, ah, screw it, I'm going go straight forward. Yeah. But yeah, the, uh, the immediate glove, and then uh, the pretty quick raft made for... Yeah, quick seed. <laughs> I mean, it made it really comfortable. And then especially once I got fairy, um, it made it really comfortable to just go into dungeons. Yeah. Especially like three and four when you when you've got a right side item. Oh yeah. Yeah, the the three and the four position, you, you finished them early, and um, and Riker Rider. So he uh, he bailed out of three because he's having a little bit of trouble with the blue iron knuckles. Okay. And because he didn't get the fire spell, um, he didn't go to four either. So he just had the raft and, and didn't get the magic container out of three or anything. So he he just was out of there, which for him, it turned out to be, it would have been a fine routing issue because, you know, these just go back for both those at the same time later. They didn't have anything critical that he needed ahead of time. And you had him done. Right. Nothing to worry. You didn't have him in front of you to worry about. So both of you, you know, came out of that just fine. Mm -hmm. um, we have Raikou is fighting Thunderbird now. He's using, he says he prefers jump strats for Thunderbird. He says he's the only one of the only people who does. I think. <laughs> but he has eight attack. Oh yeah, he's gonna. Man, I think his best time is a one forty something. Wow, so, so he's he gonna should, get a yeah, nice yep. ten minute PB. Yeah. So there were there were a lot of uh, I would say inconsequential differences in the seed. You know, him not finding fire to use it as a reflect, um, mm -hmm. and not having those palaces done right away. Yeah, he found uh, he he went into Death Mountain and found the hammer. The hammer cave was one cave away from one of the entrances into Death Mountain. <laughs> But be there were no hammer block caves in the Western Overworld, and and the Spectacle Rock wasn't uh, easily visible, so he didn't dig for it. Okay. Yeah. So a very small amount of time spent on uh, an inconsequential item there, and oof, makes a clutch jump over some Crumble Bridge after taking a, a hit back. Oh, jeez. Nice. Yeah. Just saw that. Well, he just has to make his way back through these rooms. This time, no Thunderbird. He'll uh, hopefully find a way to budget the magic that he knows he doesn't have to spend on other stuff to get through these rooms right. easily. I mean, he was like, what, one one or two rooms away from Dark Link? Yeah, I think so. He had to be close. It w there wasn't much between Thunderbird and Dark Link. Yeah. Couple drops, and that was about it. Yeah. Maybe one. Yeah, there was that one. There were two drop rooms that weren't there. Yeah. There, there was the one where you and have the like... overhead blocks. Right, and I think... Maybe like one waffle room. Yeah, the 
there was the one waffle room right before Thunderbird. And you find Thunderbird and you have like, you know, 50, 59 magic points or whatever. So you, you turn around for that red jar and then the, the red spitting head just says, oh, here's a blue jar. <laughs> right. You're halfway into the blocks thinking about, uh, God, I hate it when this thing turns into a, a red bird and starts, you know, it's getting all <laughs> angry and you're like, oh no, I can just leave. I'm out of here. Oh, here's that room. Let the big skull bubble out. Get away from it. Good thing about this room is there are no large enemies. So all he has to yeah. do is yeah, let the let the things get out of his way here. He has the big bot that's gonna spawn. He just don't touch it. That's all he has to do. Oh, don't go up. Oh, that spinning Man, head. Really... Oh, he survived the hit. Oh no. Man, I was really glad that I watched a couple of the races earlier today, because I, I had no idea until today that when you uh, you hit Big Bot with your sword, you can use the spell to turn them into 1 HP bots. <laughs> I never really, I don't know, I've probably done that once, but it's not something that's usually on my mind. Like, I should do this. But they do, they get, right. they get very annoying. Yeah. Like... When you have the Jackmas room and the one on the right side drops right when you're trying to break the blocks. Oh, right, exactly. That's that's a very annoying spot for a big bot. Pass through those iframes and get to the next room. Most of his health. Yeah, so both of you without the life spell, I had remarked, you know, you were, were taking great care in a couple spots not to take a unnecessary hit from uh, a chicken. Because you, I think you're on your last life after T Bird. Or uh -huh. did you have one? Yeah, left? I think. Oh. I'm pretty sure I was on my last life for Dark Blank. Yeah. I don't remember when I lost. Yeah, and you know, getting. You know, as you, you have to continue going through these rooms and, like, falling into that previous yeah. room. This is interesting. Oh, no. Uh, this... I, I think this will eventuate in a very large backward loop, and he does not like that. So I think that he's going to choose the other one. And with good reason. That's a, yeah. that's a really good logic he just worked out there if this is the room he fell into then the other one must be a right only right now that's not really all that certain that left right. could have hooked around to a right it could have and the, and the right only can sometimes just be at a be a dead end from an, a tea room or something Oh, it can't do that. It can't? Um, if So, the other one being a right, it also, it at least has to loop back into the, the main feed. The only way you can be forced to up an A is if you, let's say you dropped and you didn't have thunder or something. But the logical exit, there's always a, well, a loop and an exit, well, right? Okay, go ahead. But, I mean, there could have been tea rooms that he didn't see. Right. Right. The, and, he could have gone right, yeah, into a tea room, and it would have had to. It would have had to feed back before T Bird. Either way. Right. But I think that he reasoned that uh, the other one may just go to Dark Link. I don't know. We'll find out. Whatever, whatever his thought process was, it's working out. Yeah. <laughs> One thing, uh, <laughs> if 
you wanted to really mess around in that situation, try to take that wall boost in that room that he fell into and <laughs> <laughs> get out. <laughs> I've seen take... a couple people try and do that. Yeah. It's a lot of fun to try, but I don't. It's definitely not uh, advisable as a strategy. Right. So here's the little bots that have a lot more HP than they oughta. Mm hmm. Raikou is able to get up. Nova just a... I don't even know if he has a sliver of red to his name, and he falls right onto one of those shots coming up from the floor. But that's okay. At least he's through that room, and now he can head to the right and take oh, this drop. Wow. <laughs> yeah, so, you know, the, the damage that you were trying to avoid, um, and then fall right into that room that's very difficult to avoid damage in. Yeah. He's getting kind of picked away. So, we can take his, his very limited spell list. Keep, he keeps pulling it up. I think I'd do the same thing. I keep pulling up like, man, what do I have? Okay. All right, and here it is. scoring GG pretty quick hits yeah that is the game we'll get Raikou Rider in here I hope So where did I go wrong? Well, I mean... I'm... I can't even say that I can pinpoint where all the time loss was. Other than GP, because that was a brutal GP. Yeah, the, the GP... Yours is definitely a little slower than Zarnax's. Um... So what? basically what happened at the end there was... Um, I saw that drop, and since I had already seen T-Bird... Uh, I went and turned the other way and saw another drop, so I was like, great, one of these is going to take me to Dark Link, and one of these is going to take me out of the palace, and I picked <laughs> the wrong one. Yeah. Yeah, so what made you so certain that you were, um, that that path that you up eight out of couldn't have turned around and taken you to Dark Link? Um, uh, the reason why is because I had already seen the other half of the Mobius room. Oh, okay. I missed that part. Got it. Um, so. Yeah, so. I'm beginning to think that another decision that got me in trouble early was maybe I spent a little bit too long grinding in front of Palace 3. I ran into leveling issues pretty much the entire seed. So, yeah, I don't think your grind in front of Palace 3 is a, a particularly bad idea. Um, one thing that a very small difference there is that you were you had to get the magic three to use the fairy spell and but that was a good move to get downstab for sure. Uh, Zarnax was able to pull it off at magic two uh, because he found the magical uh, he found a fifth magic container. Oh uh, yeah, I, I, fig I figured that's what happened was he just the, found a container. Your differences um, were very small until I think let's see. I'd say really when when Zarnax located the thunder spell, I think he did that a bit ahead of you. And I actually noted that in the uh, SRL chat that as right. soon as I found um, the thunder in New Casuto, I knew I'd lost uh, because I had been digging out items from 
the overworld and even out of palaces trying to cover in case um in case a spell item was required to get to thunder and i was kind of banking on that it it turned out that the Zarnax dug up most of those items anyway uh, he didn't find thunder super early then you definitely dug up more items like you you got out uh you dug up hammer cave which really didn't cost you much time Zarnax didn't do that and you also located the magic key um Zarnax took a a more of a take every level approach to experience and well, so if you're good enough at the game to do that then absolutely uh don't yeah. you run the game Zarnax oh yeah kind of it's been a while since I've done any runs uh, I'm actually incapable of finishing a run because I uh, I have not beaten the game one CC. Oh wow! I'm sure you could. Yeah, I'm I'm sure that you could too. Um. Yeah. So. Yeah, it worked out. Both of you guys actually had a fine uh, turnout for how you played Raikou. You got a magic key, so you didn't have to get magic up a lot or worry about key doors and Zarnax. Um, had higher magic levels. Need found also a magic container three, so he had seven containers fairly early. So for both of you, again, like key doors weren't a, weren't an issue. Yeah, I was pretty happy about all those magic containers. I thought you were. <laughs> <laughs> I could sense it a little bit. So I don't know. The it's hard to say. I can't I can't even put my finger on it. Besides a little bit of spent extra time spent in the overworld. And maybe a couple palace paths, but you know, you had a nice clean Guma fight. You had a nice clean Barb fight. Yeah, the attack for Guma is, I think, the first time I've done Guma at anything less than attack six. Yeah. I, that's actually one reason why I try to delay palace five as long as possible. Mm -hmm. But by the time I found palace five, I knew I was already under time pressure. Yeah, and the location of it, I, that was definitely a, an issue, wasn't it? Like, you didn't want to have Absolutely. to backtrack. Absolutely, it was time. very difficult to get back there. Um, but that's that was a really difficult GP. You had no shield spell, you had no life spell, you had no upstab. Mm -hmm. And a lot of those block rooms. Yeah. I, yeah. W when I found Darunia, I was really debating about taking the time to go get upstab, and I probably should have. It, it was a moot point by then. If, uh, yeah, I think the bigger thing is is that neither of you decided to recover the spell out of Daruni, which would have been a defensive spell. Not sure, we don't know if it was shield or life, neither of you had I the spell. I did not have the child at the time. You didn't have the child at the time? Okay. No, well, no, I not the first time you were there, no. The first time I was there, the first time I was there, I did not have, um... The first time I was there, I did not have a means to get up there because I found both fairy and jump really late. Ooh. No, you... Did you find fairy late? I thought you had you had it pretty early. Um, I might be thinking of the other seed that I did. I think you were. It, <laughs> yeah, it was not a good... It wasn't a problem, you know. Skipping upstab was not a problem there, and you didn't have the kit at that time. Um, but, yeah... It, it was, was just a, never convenient for me to go back there. Right. Yeah, so besides that, uh, you know, you both dug up both things from Maze Island. Um, you both, you know, full cleared Palace 1. I think you both found a lot of nasty little dead-end rooms in Palace 2. Uh, both of you had trouble with Palace 3 at the beginning, actually. That was interesting. Um, well, that, oh, palace th that Palace 3 was really nasty. Um, I went through the entire first, like, I guess, what, the top half? I went, I think I went through and got the item, and then, uh, and then up aid, and then remembered that I could get down stab. Like, I could have gotten it before I even went in there. Yes. <laughs> yeah, that... It just, like, didn't occur to me at all until I was already, had already gotten the item. Yeah. Oh, what was the item in three? Was it like the cross or something? It's the magic container. The, uh, the magic container. Oh, that would that would explain everything. Because I was having, I 
I think it might have been. No, that was the last season where I had issue with Matt, where I had an issue finding magic jars. And three, and there was magic jar in two for three. And the other one I found was on Maze Island. Yeah, yeah I found the one. I found the one on Maze Island. Um, yeah. I, I, I don't. As far as the logic goes, I don't think I really made any wrong decisions. I just got outplayed. Yeah, I I have to say that I think that um, your routing may not have been quite as good as Zarnax's in some spots. Uh, but at the same, you know, so Zarnax finished Palace 3 and 4 early, and you left him behind. I don't think that either of those was a, a wrong play. Um, well, basically what I did was um, I kind of had cold feet about the last race that I had with Shiner. Mm-hmm. So I found four, didn't have reflect. So what I did, what I decided to do by going in there anyway, was to more or less just gather information about the palace. Yeah, and that was um, a good move, I think. Not even notwithstanding, like even if the item there is junk, I mm-hmm. think gathering information about the palace is fine, just to confirm that that's another location where something important like Rafter Glove can be. Yeah, I think. And that one... palace four was super short. It was. It was a, a and very easy. The reason, so another reason why I, excuse me. So one of the reasons why I why I left four for so late is um, the experience route because um, when I completed uh, my first palace, my leveling was not where I wanted it to be. Um, so I knew I couldn't afford to eat any gems. To be yeah. able to have a comfortable level going into GP. Yeah. So I you... was trying to route so that I could maybe come back to Palace 4 after I had, say, found some pea bags, but it just never panned out. Yeah. Yeah. When you have a, a Palace ahead of you that you know is short and you want to do an XP manipulation, then you do have a, an issue in front of you to deal with. And you actually had that issue with like every Palace where you, you never got the XP except maybe in one of them before you got to the gem, and so you had to turn around in all those to, to get the XP manipulation that, that you oh. required to finish the game, right? Yeah, I, I'm i not really comfortable. I think the the lowest level I've ever finished GP at is like 747. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Yeah, and that's... As, that's opposed, those... as, opposed to pe- as opposed to people like you who can probably complete Great Palace on like 444 without a problem. Uh, yeah, for for myself or even Zarnax, um, we're both, I think, in the position where it's not a question of what we can do, but what is the fastest thing to do. Like, we have that luxury of saying, well, yeah, we could beat it at four attack, but obviously five attack is faster. And and so we, we have choices. We have a lot of choices. And in this, the way it turned out for you, you did lose time because you didn't have the choice to... Um, just say okay i'm taking whatever comes you know and and going with if i had found if i had found life or shield then i definitely would have considered eating a gem Mm -hmm. but not knowing that i was going to have access to to light because even with even without um even without um or even if you have like 8x8 doing gp without shield or life is pretty difficult yeah i think this seed showed that because you guys were both having, you, you were taking damage in those rooms, and you have a bunch of spicy or, uh, jumping chickens in your way. And uh, there yeah. weren't too many of them; just the ones that you had to deal with were awful. Right, they were in in choke points and. and tough yeah, that's gonna be a lot of fun going into GP with no shield, no life, and uh, big and small mixed enemies. Oh, buddy, that's that's what I'm waiting for. Yeah. Yeah. So we have a race coming at midnight between I think Adagenos and no who is it? Is Adagenos the Dark Magician? I don't have the schedule up right now. That should be a pretty good race. Yeah, we don't have a restream set up for it. I can't my do it. Um I have to be up in the morning. Um oh speaking of races, um do we have a date for the play in race? Uh is that on the schedule or not? Because um this upcoming week, because I may not be able to play in it, play in it if it's this upcoming week, because this upcoming yep. week doesn't work for doesn't work for me at all. I'm working a ton of overtime. Oh, I think it definitely won't be this week. 
No, it won't be at the end. It'll be the soonest it could possibly be would have to be I would say like the 12th of August. Oh, okay, that's plenty of time. Yeah. Yeah, it'll definitely be on the weekend. It'll we'll have it a time that most amount of people should be able to to make it to the race that have, you know, two and two. Uh, also, Zarnex, I was talking about that uh, Jeep, that map, that map, GP map from the Shiner race that I did earlier. Um, I saved that image to my DS and I'll post it for you because I know, um, I think it was like you and HN and a couple other people were wondering what my map looked like. Huh, cool. Like, it was. Yeah, you know, so I don't know if you got to see that race, but that was the most confusing GP I'd ever seen. Oh, I I was watching at the end of that. Yeah, you that was uh <laughs> we were waiting. I think we were waiting for that map. For you to Yeah, share I'll that. get I'm going to actually get it off my DS and I'll post it in the Discord for for, for everybody to see cuz it was crazy. Good. We we love that stuff. <laughs> yeah. All right. Well, I'm going to actually uh drop off voice and uh get to work on that. All right. While I well, I'm going to get to work on that while I watch the VOD back. Well, good. I hope cool. you enjoy it. It's just me here rambling myself and in the <laughs> chat occasionally. Um, yeah. Yeah, and and so look out for the race. It should be coming up in an hour yeah. here. Uh, thanks, guys, for joining us. Thanks for putting on the race. Yeah, thanks for picking this up on such short notice. You bet. So. GG, I'm... Raccoon. Yep. All right. Well, that's it for now. Uh, 